Now, let's look at it from a perspective of your husband giving you a hundred thousand allowance from the one million naira he earned. That's very commendable. So, I would like to commend him first. Now, you didn't state whether uh, the hundred thousand naira allowance he gives you includes feeding. I wouldn't think that. With the current economy in Nigeria, with the situation right now, if your husband is giving you a hundred thousand naira for feeding and taking care of yourself and your child. That, of course, is not uh, plausible. It's not possible because of how expensive things have become. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of your favorite podcast, Weighing on This. My name is Effie Francis. Of course, you know that every week I bring you anonymous stories from people going through life challenges, asking you, the viewers and listeners, to weigh in with your thoughts, your advice, your suggestions, and even your recommendations. Today, I have a submission and that I would like you to weigh in on. And of course, you know what we do here. When you hear it, the first thing you should do is think about empathy, kindness, and grace. Let's get right into the story of today. He says, hello, Effie. Thank you so much for a platform as this. I am so sorry to bother you, but I'm looking for some advice. I feel bad about this, but I can't help thinking that I don't have the right to feel this way. My husband earns one million naira as his monthly salary, and he gives me a hundred thousand naira as a monthly allowance. I feel like he could give me more, maybe at least a hundred and fifty thousand naira. I used to work so I wouldn't have to rely on him financially. But when I gave birth to our baby last November, I had to quit my bank job because the 60,000 naira salary wasn't worth it anymore. I did speak up about it. That's when he started giving me the monthly allowance. Am I being entitled or is it just, or is it reasonable to feel unhappy with the 100,000 naira? Okay, let's see. One million naira comes in. So from this story, I can, um, I'm assuming that you don't operate a joint account, so you do not know probably everything that is in your husband's account, but you do know what he earns every month, which is good. Now, he gives you a hundred thousand naira. You didn't state if the hundred thousand naira covers for feeding for you, your husband, and your baby. So you said allowance. So let me assume that this hundred thousand naira is for your personal upkeep, which is your salon visit when you want to buy your cosmetics and you know just your normal what you need to just take care of yourself every month okay with the current economic situation of nigeria i do not think that the hundred thousand is even enough to feed a family of two not to talk of three so let me just assume that it is for your personal upkeep now if it is for your personal upkeep i think it is pretty decent you know why because if he earns a millionaire you did also state if you you're going to pay rent from the money or if you live in your own home. If you're going to be paying rent for one million naira, that's a lot. And um, if it still gives you a hundred thousand naira and you just want fifty thousand naira more, <laughs> I think this is really a very simple thing. What you need to do is have a conversation with your husband. If it's, if it was kind enough to give you a hundred thousand naira, I'm sure you can do one fifty. That is if it's possible. Again, you would have to have a tabletop conversation where you talk about the things that the money goes out to. Right. And then he can then say, oh, I'm able to give you this money. But ultimately it's about you maybe being able to cut down on some things that you use. For example, if you're using a perfume that is around 150,000 naira while you were working, now you're not earning it. Just one money is coming from one source. Right. You want to maybe cut it down to buying this inspired by perfumes. I promise you, you will still smell good. If you are using a, a makeup that is maybe on the high end, you want to cut it down to something that is still good. Of course, not something that will make you break out. Something that is still good. It, all together is about cutting down on your spendings at the moment. Because, you know, you, 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 like you rightly said, you're not currently earning. So that is what I would do, though. Again, this is just me weighing in on it, thinking that the best way is to cut down. That is if the 150,000 naira that you desire is not feasible. If it's not coming out, if it's not going to come out to you from your husband, you should have to, you know, cut down on your spendings so that then you can have, of course, you can be able to have your financial stability and that you're not upset that, oh, you're not getting what you want. You're not getting what you need and all that. So that is what I would say. That is my advice to this piece. Um, but again, I'm opening this to the community, my amazing people who would want to, you know, suggest advice you know, give any recommendation on what this person should do. If you know anything that will help her um, or, <laughs> uh, you know, please 
weighing on it, leave a comment. And please don't forget to leave your comment very respectful, with grace and with empathy. And God will bless you. This is a very pretty simple thing, really, really. You're not being entitled. It's your money too. Your husband's money is your money. You want so never ever think that you are feeling entitled to your own in your own marriage. It's your home. So yeah, that's what I would say. All right, if you've not already subscribed to this channel, if it's the first time I've seen us here, this first time I've seen my face, this is the first time I'm doing this alone because Sugarman is on sabbatical. He took a leave of absence because he's going to secure the bag for the family. So I'm going to be here for a couple of weeks. Sugarman will be joining me. Okay, so join us, subscribe, like, share. All you need to do is click on the red button. And when, you, when you're done with that, click on the notification icon so that when I post videos, you will be the first to know. And when you do that, like the video. When you like it, YouTube will then be able to suggest it to many, many more people to see it, okay? And that way, you keep moving the train. You keep moving it, and it just keep going. And then, um, I just want to say this, because that's what I always say to you. You are amazing, okay? Never, ever look down on yourself. And because when you don't look down on yourself, other people will not be able to look down on you. You are amazing. You're important. You're distinct. You're the most amazing person God made on this earth. Never, ever forget that, that no one else is like you. No one else is better than you, and you are not better than anyone else. You are amazing just the way you are. God bless you. Keep loving yourself. Love you.